Okay, I've decided I went brown mascara, so I want to give myself a little bit of a brown liner. What is this dark spot there? What the hell? Is that just a permanent wrinkle? Every day I find something new that is falling apart. Damn it. You always see me using eyeshadows and not pencils. So I wanted to give it a try. Now this drives me crazy. Make sure when you do your eyeliner that you don't see a space of skin. Do you see it? Right there. I'm hoping that you can see that. I know this looks crazy, but I'm gonna go in from underneath and wiggle through the lashes to make sure that you don't see any skin between that line. See? So much better. So now that's seamless and there's no distraction. Now I'm gonna take my smudge brush and I'm gonna go over that line and smudge it out. For those of you that maybe have more of a hood that you know it sits down on top of that liner, make sure to set it with a powdered eyeshadow similar to the color that you're using to keep it in place because this is creamy and if you can imagine your skin kind of hanging over or touching when you look straight forward or when you're looking up, if your skin is touching your eyeliner, it's gonna transfer. I got a little bit in here, but you know what works for that? Your own spit. I know it's gross, but it got it off. I think most people have a brown eyeshadow. I feel like this eyeliner is similar to this color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that eyeshadow and blend over top. Yeah, that seems to be working. It's not changing the color of my liner. What do we think? I think that looks pretty. Let's see if I can get this even on the other side. Wish me luck. If you have a hard time doing your left eye, I'm right-handed, so I may look left to you. I'm not sure. So for me to glide the liner this way, it's just a natural flow. It's not that way on this side. It's very awkward. So I'm not sure if anyone else does this, but I'll put the liner in between my two fingers and have it go this way. Then I'm gonna rest my pinky finger here and glide. If you don't need to rest your pinky finger, that's fine. I'm also resting my right arm on my left arm or on a counter. So right now I'm steadying my right arm with my left arm and I just do baby strokes in here because I don't want it really thick in there. I want the thickness to be in the outer corner. If you don't want this wing liner, you could stop it right at the edge of your lashes. I have seen people who don't take it out far enough and what that does is shorten your eyes. So make sure that you drag your eyeliner at least to the outer lash and extend it if you'd like to extend it like I did on this side, but you don't have to. Because it's creamy, I can work with it. This eye is definitely thicker, so I can go thicker on this side. And now looking straight ahead, it's hard to do in my camera. I'm gonna have a little mark there of where I'm gonna direct that line. I'm just touching it right now. I didn't make a strong line because I can then take my brush and swoop it and blend it. I'm having a good makeup day. I feel like I did a good job. So again, I'm going to set it with my e.l.f. powder. Whatever is in your collection will work. Needs a little bit more work over here. There, that's starting to look better. I'm doing this without eyeshadow, which is nice for this kind of look because I can go in with my Q-tip and clean it up. Look at the difference of what a cream colored liner does. Just pops the eye wide open and makes it look cleaner. It's different, right, compared to what I normally do. I quite like it. I think it looks pretty. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you later. Bye.